Value yourself. This is something that many people do not do. They are often bullied into doing stuff they don't want to do, um, often accepting like job roles that are below their value, but sometimes it's in a relationship. You're in a relationship that may be destructive or negative or um, it's one-sided. I know I've been in a relationship where it was fairly one-sided um, previously, and you often just give in. There's a point where you just switch off to it. But this is the point. You need to value yourself and realize, you know, quite simply, that relationship ain't worth having. And I got myself out of it. But at the same time, there's many things in life that fit into this. Right now, um, the asset work I do is being devalued. Um, not because it should be devalued, because there isn't many people that do it. But they were like, oh, we've got apps to do it, so we can do it. And it doesn't really do it. And uh, they're trying to, it's the race to zero. So originally it was all internal, and then they get external contractors. But now they've got these secondary companies that then outsource it to uh, agencies. So it gets devalued by about three or four layers of people in there, all wanting to cut off your back from the work you're doing. So the rates have gone down and down and down to the point myself, I'm simply going, I'm not doing it anymore. You know, I'll still do it if the right rates come in, but quite simply, I'm moving into the management side instead. You know, at the end of the day, I can project manage, I can site manage, I can work as a regional manager, or national manager. I don't need to just focus on one thing because I value myself and on that, it's priority on a monetary level because quite simply, I know what I'm worth. And often you will find the market is set by what people accept. Um, an example of that is if you read the workout, the four hour work week, um, one of the comments, oh no, it's Rich Dad Poor Dad actually, um, where they're discussing about what people get paid. And the thing is, this, the level is set by what people accept, because if nobody accepted it, then the, the rate would have to go up to get people to do the job in the first place. Makes sense. And like this, I know the bit I do, there's hardly anybody that does it. Getting somebody to go around with a clipboard, plenty of people to do it, and plenty of them make a complete hash of it. But at the same time, it's normally where I come in and actually sort all that mess out. But hey-ho, move on, value yourself. And in my case, redoing all my uh, work history and everything else geared towards management instead, just moving past the problem. Um, but even in a um, work-based relationship where you're getting people that may call you stupid names or something, I mean, I don't get that, not to my face at least. <laughs> but if you are getting that, you can actually turn around and say, no, this isn't acceptable. I don't need to, you know, I don't like being called whatever, you know, I don't know. You don't have to accept these things. You've got to value yourself and it's also valuing yourself in your work life, your social life, your home life and saying, you know what, I want to start going to swimming every Friday. I want to go out for meals on a Thursday. I want to do this. How am I going to make it happen? Because all I'm doing now is just working and paying the mortgage, doing this, but how do I get a life I actually want? How do I appreciate myself? How do I spend time with myself? How do I turn around and even, I mean, as a kid, I used to do this, I used to go fishing pretty much every day. That little bit of time, for a couple of hours yourself, fishing, de-stressing, whatever, is relaxing, doing something you want, it is valuing yourself. In the same way, if you get people constantly put you, put you down, it's time to get rid of them. You know, friends don't do that. Friends don't do that. Um, work Workmates may think it's funny to do it, but like I said, you just tell them no. I, I don't find it funny anymore. Um, I didn't find it funny in the first place. In the same way, in a relationship, you've got a partner that does that. And I know some people that do it because I hear it, and I'm just like, why are you running your partner down? Especially if you can't engage with your partner to discuss these problems. You know, 
you shouldn't be talking to outside people about your relationship problems unless it's somebody in counseling. Because um, all you're doing is making your relationship worse because you, you're beginning chatter about a failed marriage or whatever. When you should actually turn around and say, like, you know what, I'm not happy with this. How do we fix this? And it starts with varying yourself. And I know with some of the relationships between Westerners and Filipinas, it's a problem sometimes because um, some people are geared towards this treating the wife as a second citizen almost. And I'm completely against it. And I've got to admit, I don't really see it too much in Spain, but I've seen it a lot in the Philippines. Um, and they get the same guys three years down the line or whatever would be complaining that the woman left them, left them. Yet at the same time, they got to understand they got to value that person at the same time you need to work together to understand that you've got to not only value yourself but the other people around you because then you appreciate each other you that's the whole point um it's just general well-being it, it benefits everybody you know the negative people are very easy to find positive people are much harder to find but i mean i've got to admit i do find some people overly positive and they drive me you know they're too much because it's it's like a prozac moment um <laughs> it's if they're just happy about being happy and you know it's all um a bit my little pony sun rainbows and like i can't that's too much for me just being generally happy is fine for me and not that i'm running those good people down they, you know they're generally genuinely happy that's fine but sometimes they're doing it for sales reasons or manipulation, uh, that's that's not why you do this stuff. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously it works in sales, but I'm saying you should actually be trying to be genuinely happy. Because if you're genuinely happy, the rest comes naturally anyway. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.